Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Everspace 2. I'm Computer, and since last episode, I went back to Union and unlocked the Exploration Challenge. Let's see, there we are. So, now travel time will be a lot shorter, which is nice. And I am one thing short of getting it for Sarkov as well. In fact, let's go do that right now. Just so I can show how location challenges work. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a plan. There we go, and oh, oh. Uh, hmm, uh, these popped up in Everspace 1, and they almost always contained an ancient guardian that turned into a black hole when you defeated it. But it doesn't seem to be open. I think that's where the entrance used to be. Okay, well, we recognize that. Okay. And... We have those guys around as well. They nearly killed me last time I encountered them. So, that's fun. Thank you. And an ancient rune. Just gonna wait for that to explode. Probably should have waited for that one too. Hello. Now... I think I know how this works. Maybe. When I saw this thing here, I also noticed that... Never mind. Looked like that may be connected there. But if it didn't... Huh. Nothing there. Nothing there. And we have a two here. And a Z there, okay. Maybe I should have left that thing over there, maybe. See, do you connect anywhere around here? No. I'm gonna leave this here on top for the moment. Anyway, um, right, I was supposed to explain location challenges. And to the top left there, you see location challenge. If an area has a location challenge, it will pop up there. Uh, regardless of whether you have uh, something tracked or not, I think. I don't uh, think I have it tracked here. No, I didn't. No, I do. And also... Oh, right, yes. Um, let's claim that. Thank you. And... Right, there is one more thing I'd like to talk about. And that's high-risk areas. They give you a lot of loot, which is why I now have 174,000 when I think I had like maybe 15 last episode. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of money and good salvage in there, loot. And also, I tried using a couple of these signal decoders that were level 10 in Union, and the game told me I couldn't because they were too low level. Or maybe I was too high a level. So use them when you get them, or just sell them. This one is worth 8,000 credits, which is excellent. And uh, it actually decreases loot quality. Interesting. But it uh, increases credits. Hmm. Might actually be worth it. Yeah. And I need a new booster. Thankfully, I think I can make one. Yes. But I don't think I can make a recharge booster. But I'll be a little bit faster, so maybe it's fine. 
Yes. Speed gain 300. You know what? I'm going to accept that and make another one. Just to try. Firepower and structure is fine. And I think that's the same recharge and everything else. Yes. All right, well, we're going to use you and dismantle you and you and everything else, basically. And I need better missiles, too, kind of. Yeah. That's a lot more damage. On primary weapon critical hit, 20% chance to fire a free missile at the locked target. 1.5 second cooldown, 60% reduced damage uh, slash effect, and cannot be intercepted. It is, is excellent. Thank you. And we're gonna remove the other ones. There. Yeah, that's, that's better. I also found these prototype weapons. And this one is technically better than my superior weapon. So I'm gonna equip that. And... Oh, wait. 10% uh, of kinetic damage bypasses shields. 10% of energy damage by... Okay, you might be a little bit better. But you're doing a lot less energy damage. But if we can bypass shields a little bit, it might make up for it. I'll, I'll keep the one I have right now. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's see about finding a way into this vault here. Alright, we may have another... One of these... Oh no! It's empty. And then we have you. Ancient rune. That's different than... No, that is the ancient rune. Okay. That's a question mark. This is empty. Hello. Oh, wait, you were also in the other place, but uh, you were destroyed there. And you are powered, so I can rotate you. Hmm. Well, let's go pick this thing up over here. Wait, do I power it up by... That doesn't sound very smart. But it is possible that's how that works. I'm just gonna leave you... Right there. Thank you. Well, that didn't do it. Probably. Let's bring it all the way over to these guys. Oh yeah, that's that booster is uh, very much slower than the old one. Uh, to recharge anyway. What are you gonna do now? You're gonna do just that. And now you are powered. All right. Wonder why you weren't powered in the old place. I love these clouds, though. Just uh, looking around. Not 
not seeing anything that stands out. Oh, right, I can... I didn't check below. Ah, hello. There you are. Probably. I'm just gonna steal you and get out before those uh, lightning rods start getting funny ideas. And that's the question mark. There. Ow. All right. Oh, and a lot of deposits as well. Let's see, what do I actually need to open? I'm guessing you should be a one. But I could be wrong. No, you are a two. And you are a, let's say a seven. Do we have one over here as well? No. And the next one is going to be a one. Yes, okay. Now, and then we have a Z on top. Now, that's the question. Does the one need to be pointing the other direction? Let's see. Do I need to put a one here? Oh, you're already at two. Well, that's helpful. That should have done it. Maybe. Or not. Okay. Well. Wow. Let's invert it. Hmm. That doesn't seem to have done it either. There's a one inscribed on it, sort of. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, never mind. I see them now. I also saw that, thank you. Wait, what? Thanks. Get it over with. Thank you. Yeah. Two. Good. Oh. How did... What kind of a range do you have? That's a one. Don't get me again, please. Thank you. There. Uh, 
And that's a Z. There we go. Except that's probably gonna... Or not. Ancient jar. Fusion hook. Attaches to surface within two kilometers and pulls the user towards the target location at high speed. Two charges. Oh, I'm gonna take that. And that just... That was it. But what about that thing? Apparently, I feel like I'd like to enter this place, though. All right, all right. A little bit annoying that, um, uh, let's see. These things didn't have anything to do with anything. And a mainframe component, I think that means I have three, which is nice. Let's get structure. And let's see, there should be one last thing to do, and that's get close to the sun. Should be roughly that direction. It is kind of bright. I'm going to ignore that. And that planet as well. I know, I know. There. Okay, um, let me leave. Thank you. Right. And... Oh, what, what, what was that? Yeah, it's gone now. Thanks. Hmm. So now I have uh, Cedar Explorer, Uni Explorer, and Zarkov. I haven't even gotten the option to start looking for um, those challenges in the Kait Nebula. They may not even exist there. Or maybe I need to do something specific to do the, to unlock it. Don't know. But for now, I'd actually like to stop using this ship, so I'm gonna go home for a little bit. There. Yeah. So, give me a moment. There we go. And I just realized that my drones have the same engine color as I do now. That's pretty cool. Right. Let's see. There we go. Gunship, I think. Although, maybe I've... Uh... Also, hello. How... Yeah, how do I get everything transferred over? Because it isn't right now. Hmm. Well, bother. Uh, nothing is transferred over, in fact. Am I going to have to... Wait, hold on. Give me a moment. All right, so there is no magical move all equipment to other ship button. You have to store it and then move to your new or old ship and then re-equip it. Which makes sense because mm, 
all of the ships have different layouts like this one has three main weapons and two secondary ones whereas the typhoon has only two main weapons and one secondary one and also less uh, or rather more equipment slots and you kind of want different equipment on all of the ships i think so this it's it's fine the way it is i think and i'm gonna make some more homing missiles no more corrosions yeah excellent and accept yeah and i took everything out of here and uh, put it in here to sell or use later Right. Oh, and there is one more thing I want to check out here. It looks cool. Let's change it. Uh, ship modules. I think I have more ones. Well, these I've already seen. Actually, oh, that looks cool. Yes, yes. Good. Wings. I have new ones, I think. Pretty sure these are new. Yeah, we're going to go with those. And yeah, I really like that. Yeah, that all works. And uh, I like the blue and the black, so that stays. Then again, we want. Energized boost. Yes. And... Wait, can I do that again? Rearrange. No. Teleporter or... Nanotransmitter. Teleporter. Yeah. I think that's gonna have to be it here. Maybe not, actually. Um, yes. I have more than enough now. Thank you. Thank you. More ships. And Marie the Wind can also have them, so... Oh, solar panels, I need more of those. Which is fine. I need to buy them, though. Storage size, not really necessary. You're done. And there, mining tracker, sure. Thank you. Could get this, not quite, close, but not quite. Not energy orbs, um, yes, yes, no, no, fine. Nanotech will also repair armor for, yes. No. No. But yes. Actually, let's put those in and those as well. Do you you have only crews? Fine. And you have one more that I cannot get. All right. Good. Uh, my armor isn't repaired fully, but that's fine. Let's go to... Actually, let's see, where was it? Alcyone, Union Bridge. Curve this bowl. There, Nef yes. Let's go look at new ships. Hopefully they'll have some nice ones. And that feels good. Still gonna take a while, but uh, not as long as it used to. Okay, uh, let's not ram the planet.
good. Oh, hello. Ah, you see me now. Oh, I love that speed. Well, that's a problem for the uh, weapons energy. Actually. Oh, that sounds cool. And it lasts for quite a while, too. You know what? I want to... Oh. Uh, no. What I have is technically better. I think. Maybe. No. In Less collision damage is better. So we're going to keep it, but sell it. And then we're going to equip you instead. Because I think... Let's see. Oh, yeah. Chips. Hello. Nice. Oh, wow. Four hundred thousand. Really? For such a tiny thing? Sure. I mean, three also wow it's kind of hard to read that uh let's ignore you striker looking cool i can't afford you so it would be nice quantum tether close combat is not really something i want but the enemy like the enemies tend to crowd so it makes sense locked enemy targets suffer 20 percent speed reduction though that is nice and let's see, Sentinel. It is technically what I already have one of, but the one I have is a tier one. And instantly resets all support devices cooldown when shield depletes once every two minutes and 20% reduced cooldowns for warfare devices. That sounds nice. Ship slots, uh, two secondary weapons, two consum four consumables. Three devices and 22 cargo. Or we have a better Vindicator, though. I mean, tempting. Drones violently explode on death, damaging and slowing nearby enemies. And when a drone is destroyed, gain 20% increased weapon damage for f six seconds. Really? I think regenerating drones is a little bit better. Looking cool, though. And then we have an interceptor, weapon overdrive, heavily boosts weapon damage and fire rate and provides unlimited energy. Killing an enemy increases the remaining duration by one second. That is nice. Weapons use boost energy after weapon energy is depleted. That is also very nice. But you only have one passive, my friend. So that's unfortunate. A uh, gunship with basically the same look I had before. And one passive turret will also attack mines. Well, that's not what you want. You want the turret to attack enemies that are shooting at you. Mines you can avoid, sort of. Hmm. We have a scout and we have a stinger. Hello. Instantly resets all device cooldowns and releases a huge swarm of aggressive microbots that will consume everything in their way, prioritizing the locked target. Upon return, they will restore hull and armor based on the total damage dealt. That is pretty cool. And gain plus one to all device levels. Also, using a device powers an additional primary hardpoint for five seconds. Oh. But what if you're already... If, if you've already mastered a device, do you get two of the, like, special masteries? Or specialties? Anyway, void swarm radius increased by 25. Okay, wow. Consumables four, devices two, cargo. Yeah. Looking cool. And then we have another bomber here. Wait. Arc 9,000 damage increased by 2% every second after being fired. Well, it depends on how long the exist 
though. Which I don't know. Anyway, these are all cool. This one is very expensive, though. But, alright, um, let's sell stuff. Primarily, which, I mean, these, yes. Could use those. Sarkov might be able to use this one. I'm just gonna sell all of this. If I need nanobots, I can make them. Might be able to use those still. Quantum Entangler, I already have. Cargo unit, can't use it. No, let's see, plasma, solar panels, yes, I need seven. And you have 74, okay, well, well, okay, well. Thank you. And... That's good, that's good, excellent. I don't actually need to go back to use these. It was you, right? Yes, good. Uh, alternative set of passives for each ship. Oh, I need more of you. Gonna do that. And particle modulator. I think I can make that. Yes, and I can, in fact, make that. I need four. One, two. Never mind. Pure insidium. Fuck. Okay, well. Did you have pure insidium? I don't think you did, but, um... Let's look anyway. Oh, wow. Plasma. No. Did you get a new ship? How can we help you today? No new ships. Got it. Okay. There. Off we go. Just something kind of important. Right? Yeah. Wonder why I didn't see that before. Thank you. And now we're at 100% here too. Nice. Kind of like time dilation from X4. Oh, you can see me, can you? Well, I can see you too. Wait. I'm 
sorry. Could you stop, maybe, please? sure I cleared this place out before but uh, apparently not or maybe they just respawn after a while either way more experience is always good I don't remember if you have anything special for me to buy but uh, might as well look And there. Efficient thermal gun. No. Lots of weapons, though. That is nice. And you can have this and that. And that. And I'm going to hope to be able to afford a better ship soon, maybe. I thought there was a wall there. Loving the fire rate. Well, there you go, all the space you could ever need or want. Possibly. Try that again, please. Good. Ow. convinced with this weapon anymore so let's try that and thermal gun maybe yeah blaster is too short range kind of true for the auto cannon as well and the ramp up time is a little bit annoying sometimes thank you Oh, you see me, do you? Well, that didn't do anything. I need to be locked on, do I? Okay. And I think I probably need to be in closer range as well. What's up, Adam? Having trouble? Nah, well, not really. I am annoyed, though. Asparagus is not a color. But anyway. Yeah. Actually, no, I should probably look at these. Got to return to base. Till next time, Adam. Yeah. Fly safe and straight.
Unless someone is attacking you, then you probably should weave and dodge and all of the other stuff. I don't think he heard that, though. Oh, you're closer. All of the colors. There. I'm probably gonna tick these guys off. I mean, it works, but it is a problem that I have to target for it to actually work. But oh well. Let's go say hi. Ow, okay. Yeah, but they kind of hurt me a lot, though. Except I'm getting some armor back, which is nice. Good. Um, let's help with that. Uh, redemption. Which one was that? Yeah, go to Immaculate. Okay. Yes, that's the uh, father who was missing. Let's try to help them out. It was supposed to be time sensitive, but... Also, here I haven't gotten the challenge yet. It probably is one of these three. Let's see, how many other places are there? There are... Never mind. So one, two, three, and four. But I only have three locked ones. So maybe there is no challenge here. Or not. There we go. That that was easy and everything. Um Four location challenges, high risk areas, and all the regions. Like normal. I'll do that between this and next episode, I think. Because it usually takes about an hour or two to do. And I kind of want to go through the story primarily. This is beautiful. Oh, well, that was easy. is being bombarded with an unknown dark energy. This, I presume, is how the cult gains a hold over their new initiates. So this is how redeemers are made, huh? Let's put a stop to this. You dare disrupt the sacred ceremony of the ancients? Oh, yes. Okay, Doomer. No 
more room in this galaxy for religious fanatics. You will be made to suffer for your well, I've heard that before, I think. We have halted the ritual. Although I fear we may be too late. The father's life signs display a slowed metabolism and an indication of possibly compromised cerebral activity. That vessel must be AI driven. Where's it heading, Hive? It is returning to the Raheem jump gate. Again? Maybe it's a default setting. Let's free this guy once and for all. All right. That looks cool. As well. Right, right, right. Yes. Might. Hmm. Not one of the ones I need right now, I think. Anyway, uh, that way. Yeah, let's go and save them. Assuming we can. Imager, mind your father's trail. The Redeemers have performed some kind of ritual on him. Oh no! I hope we are not too late! Is there anything else you can tell me about these jerks that might help me in any way? They were once scientists themselves. Research Department for Extinct Extraterrestrial Monuments. Okay, well, that might at least explain why their vocabulary range is better than that of the average outlaw. The vessel containing the father is already in the station hangar. Let's try to get him out of there before this goes any further. Oh, hello. You insist on impending our business. We will deal with you severely. Finally, That's a weird weapon. Insane. Let's try talk. Hand over the scientist Bernard, and we'll end this here, okay? There is no one of that name. Only a fresh redeemer to continue the work of the ancients. Oh, so much for wishful thinking. No negotiating with these nutbags. Solar panels, nice. Um... What are the crystals on the Redeemer ships for, exactly? The ships seemingly contain repurposed freelancer technology with unknown ancient modifications. Wait, I need better weapons here, I think. Can go beam weapon or the other uh, Yeah. There. Good thing that I was around. See you, Adam. Ah, you can you can still stick around. I wouldn't mind. Enemies in range. No, they sure are. Now there's only you. Appears to be of exceptional power. Supercharged from whatever the Redeemers have been feeding it. Facing wardens is always tough work. If you pick the fight, you must expect to finish it. Are these old timey sayings pre programmed into you, Hive? The warden will devour your soul. So you mm -hmm. keep implying. You should listen to yourself sometimes. like the warden is being re-caged. How are they doing that? We will surrender the convert you seek. Finally, some reason from you all. He is but one of many among our collective. 
he can be relinquished in order to ensure the continuation of our great work. Okay, prepare to hand him over. Imogen, I've secured your father's release. Come through the jump gate for extraction. I'm already nearby. I've been watching events from a safe distance. I thought I told you to stay put. Listen up, you crazed loons. This lady is approaching your dock. Allow her to collect her father, or expect consequences. We will not interfere. Go on in, Imogen. I'm gonna take these wells. He is unconscious. Oh, Papa, I know you can hear me. Stay with me. His eyes. Oh, no. Do you have anywhere to go? I can bring him to his colleagues. They will find a way to help him. Among them are some of the best neurophysicists in the cluster. Imogen, take your father there and never come back to this place. I fear they might have a hold on him that he may never escape. There must be a way I can repay you. No, there isn't. Just let me know later how it turned out. I will be in touch. Thank you. All right. Not the best outcome. But I got a level up, so I guess I'm fine with it. Hmm. And there's a lot of loot here. We can upgrade you. All right. Uh, easier. Now, let's go find Maddox's friend. Wait, wasn't it supposed to be an asteroid or something? Oh well, I guess that's no stick figure, but this sure looks like a rock near some squiggly lines. Hive, run a scan. I detect several abandoned camps of varying antiquity, but no humanoid life signs. Hey Maddox, you read me? What is it? Are you sure Eduardo would have survived out here on his own? You questioning a fleet marine's ability to weather any environment, son? <laughs> if he left camp, he had a good reason. He's out there. Just track him. All right. Let's see if we can find out what happened to him. These skeletons sure are impressive. Is there anything you can tell me about them, Hive? They belong to a species named Cetisia orthoriensis, commonly referred to as Leviathans. They are believed to be extinct. However, a handful of sightings have been reported around gas giants in the Kait Nebula. These sightings have been discredited due to the unreliable veracity of the claims and are regarded as folklore. I guess the squiggles on Maddox's drawing are supposed to be the skeletons. I'm no art critic, but this needs a lot of imagination. I am detecting an encrypted signal from within their subspace range. It could be from the person you are seeking. But we must locate its transmission point to read it properly. Okay, subspace. And what do we need to do? Simply locate and approach the signal origin. Point me in the general direction, though. I guess you did. Oh. Or not. Wait. Something this way. I'm probably on the wrong side of the thing, though. Yes. Wait, did that look like a stick figure? No. Do I need to get closer to it? No. Secure container, of course.
Thanks for that. And you are a shield generator that I'm going to blow up. Mainframe component, front shield generator, projects an impenetrable shield towards the front of the ship for 15 seconds. Sounds nice. Memory recalibrator too. Well, I don't know what I've done here. Wait, 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 wait. That, no, that, no, that does definitely sound or look like the thing I'm supposed to locate. Huh, what's missing? for interpretation, the ship must be aligned for optimal reception. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. And there. I will play it back to you. Gazing on the stars has opened my mind to a new serenity. I have become one with them. Without a purpose, we are all but meaningless flakes in time and space. Wow, okay. Well, if that is him, all those years sitting on this rock must have driven him yaya. There are no signs of dead or decaying life in this vicinity either. He must have departed. There appears okay. to be another similar signal nearby, although much weaker. Some of the local wildlife is causing electrical interference. Let's take care of that and get to the bottom of this mystery. Sure. I wonder if there are... No, of course there are. There must be, like, surviving leviathans, right? They wouldn't talk about them if they weren't in the game, I kind of feel like. Let's see, that should have done it. Unless I'm missing some of them. Ah, yes. Would be nice to have a counter for how many I'm there are. A much stronger ah, never mind. Now. Wait, really? make little sense to me yeah it's a little weird let's just follow his trail and see what we pick up pretty sure he's uh hey, not nice. human i think we got a lead on right. eduardo seems like he went a little nuts and left on a walkabout he better have a damn good excuse for this 
Lucas. Let me know when you find him. Sure. Maddox isn't much better. Actually, I understand Maddox less. What is this subspace anyway, and how are signals seeded in it? Specific data can be written to and read from subspace, working as a limitless, non-physical and timeless data storage that exists everywhere and any time in the universe. Sounds plausible. Does it? All right. But as I was saying, uh, I understand Maddox less than I understand this person, and I don't understand this person at all. Uh, at the moment, anyway. But we shall see. All right. Anything yet, Hive? I detect the faintest inkling of a signal. Yeah. back on base well Maddox certainly is a handful and he won't shut up about being awful rich soon I'm considering using one of those tranquilizer darts on him sounds like you have things under control then hello sorry goodbye invested oh that sounds good I'm sure I love the idea of being infested by what, though? Oh, hello. Uh, huh. All right. Was that something like you? Well, it doesn't seem to work. Shipwreck spores. I'm gonna go in here. Or possibly out here. Sh sort of. Decidedly less gung ho about uh, all of this now. Ow, wow! Uh huh. Jeez. Dax, Maddox, the call is becoming clearer. I am on the right track. Its algorithms are a thing of beauty. I must find its source and unlock its true meaning. What was he picking up that we aren't? I sure hope he didn't walk himself into a trap. What if it was one of these megafauna luring prey? Impossible to conjecture until we reach the end of this path. Yet another signal. I'm sensing, Hive, that you are as fascinated by this mystery as I am. My curiosity nodes are indeed tickled. 
That's a way to phrase that. Oh, I need better shields. Alternatively... The shield on this ship is simply worse. Hello. Uh huh. Well, that's worrisome. Powered ancient rune. Probably should be a Z since that's right there. And then there's another one for here. Well, it's gonna have to be a mystery for another day. These vines block the entrance to the cave. It looks like ordinary weapons don't work on them. There must be something around here that I can use to get rid of them. things typically yeah wow thank you huh. yuck solution oh I am not pleased with this Oh, what? Thanks for that. Well, at least that as also something is grabbing me again. Why am I moving towards it again? Hmm, still. Right. Wait. Reminds me of those tentacles in what's Hello? There. I am so close. It is only a short leap to the source. It is a calculated risk. Although I believe my trajectory can bring me closer by way of Shabar Tower, if my velocity remains consistent and the gravitational pull taken into account. This Eduardo must have an inhuman mind for astrophysics. If he calculated one wrong digit, he would be spinning endlessly in space. Yeah, well, let's hope he was able to work it out accurately. Let's take a closer look at this Shabar Tower. It is registering as an ancient structure. Well, that's great. I forget the name, but... Um, something something protocol made by the people who made the first Dead Space. There were enemies in that game that uh, just kind of popped out. And... Uh, Tentacles, really, uh, that popped out and just attacked you and took some of your health without you being able to do anything with it or against it or to it or things. It was basically just a uh, quick time event and very frustrating. Kind of reminds me of those because I don't think you can see these things before they latch onto your ship. At least it didn't seem like it to me. But I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. Now, did I actually get anything from this? Let's do a quick inventory. Energy cores, a lot of them. And then, ah, that's an uncommon one. And a cruise booster. Slightly better recharge. Energy capacity is way higher. Yeah, pretty much way higher. 
speed gain is down and a better cargo slot. Yes, I'm going to take that and also get the blueprint. Thank you. Intuitive beam laser. I think that's old, which is fine. A whole bunch of weapons. All right. This one is also not on the planet. Oh, that looks cool. Anything, Hive? I detect nothing of Eduardo, nor a following message from him. Although I am experiencing a high level of interference from the adjacent structure. That might be the problem. Let's go in and see if we can silence it. Yeah. Probably not a good idea to go inside. The oh, okay, wait. Hello? Yeah, you, wait, you have a weird shadow effect on you. Or had. I don't know. Let's go look at the lens. Doesn't make any kind of physical sense, but uh, we're dealing with magic, apparently. Maddox, I still haven't found Eduardo, but I am certain I'm closing in. You better pick up some speed, boy. You have no idea how time sensitive this whole thing is. Your crewmates have caught wind about the job. Not sure if I was talking to my sleep or just drunk. Okay. Yeah, well, now they're asking too many questions, and I don't like it. I've waited too damn long, and I'm only getting older. Oh, hello. Ancient jar, you say? Solar particles? Sure, plasma? Sure. I barely have enough time left to spend it all. Look, I sympathize, Maddox. But we've all been waiting a hell of a long time to get out of this hellhole of a DMZ. And if what you say about the job is true, there's enough wealth to spread around. Payday is coming. Just get it, Wardo. I miss Dax. Dax was nice. Dax was uh, cool, also. Uh, let's get rid of you guys. Sorry, it's nothing personal. You're just in the way, I think. Oh, wow, I didn't even check if they were in the way. I just assumed. But, uh, yep, they would have been. Uh, up. Huh? I detect a multitude of ancient entities being released. At the calculated rate of travel, they will spread throughout the entire cluster. Oh, scrap. I just opened Pandora's box. Let's try to close it again before hope gets lost as well. Oh, hello. The Wardens appears to be honing in on you. I suppose I shouldn't expect gratitude for setting them free. Let's just hope it doesn't turn into a black hole like all the old ones. Really? Late there. The wardens are not divine beings, but vicious spooks. Okay, I'm now I have a clear reading of Eduardo's message. Not now. What? Oh, um, uh, give me a second. 
Sorry about that. Full inventory and a rainstorm right outside the window. So now we can pick that up. And ow. Rude. Have you satisfied your third? Good riddance. These maniacs are becoming quite a pain in the ass. No. Is there anything inside here? No. Well, there is uh, some kind of a signal somewhere. Oh. Is it uh, down in the bottom? Nope. Excellent. Good. Ancient jar. Are you open? Yes. Excellent. Ancient rune that isn't connected to anything. Another one over there. Do you need to be connected somewhere down here, maybe? Does not seem like it. Technically, I should... Wait, no, I've seen this. Um, Outside, I think. And then up. Or... Ancient sealed ancient structure. No, that's not it either. Is it all the way down here? I think it in fact is there. So, let's look over here. You guys aren't a problem. You guys could very well be. As are you. Not there. Stop using your shield like that. Very rude. No. What was that? Only resources, really. Fine. These two had something interesting. Really? Couldn't have gone somewhere else? There. Bother someone else. And we want a Z. Like so. Or a zoo and another said. Nah, uh, that doesn't seem right. Yeah, it should have activated if that was the case. Do you have nothing there? Or 
maybe there are more of these. That seems more likely. Only two seems a little, uh, well, little. Excuse me? Okay. That's just you. Fine. Um, the entrance... ...is there. Let's look around a little bit more. Powered, yes. I don't think there is anything inside here. I think. Hold on. Hold on. That's a one. And I did see another thing. And yeah, that's another one. Hmm. Then again, I the the ancient depot also had things like that that didn't mean anything. So Nothing there. We have enemies on the other side. Excellent wait. And on this side too. Excuse me. How did you get all the way over there? They won't be missed. How can you be so sure? Well, not by me anyway. All right. I think there has to be something up here. There. Wait, where did the enemies go? All right. Well, I'm glad they they're gone. I'm glad that happened. Wait. That's not anything. Neither is there anything there. Wait, can it be that silly? No, wait. Mm, could be that silly. I don't know, though. Hold on. Maybe I have to think backwards here. I did. Fine. Huh. And dark energy. But what about that one then? Then it probably has to be used inside. Maybe? They wouldn't have put out one of these that doesn't have any place to go, right? Right? They also wouldn't block an entrance, right? Right. Did 
it's possible I've done everything I can here. And since I've already killed the Guardian, I mean... Yeah. Why would they just have a... Hmm. I'm gonna leave this as a mystery that I get to solve some other day. For now, we're leaving. But I think that's going to have to be it for today. So with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer. This has been Everspace 2. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time.